It's our pleasure to host Professor Joe Sanders from Kansas State University. Professor Sanders has come, uh, came to Wrocław to give talks about online teaching. And, um, and we got a few questions to Professor Sanders about, for example, advantages of online teaching. Um, all right, so the advantages of online teaching, I, there are some that I think are obvious and that a lot of people talk about. One is that it's cost effective. I think that this means that, like it or not, it's probably the wave of the future, right? Mm -hmm. But that said, there are reasons to embrace online teaching from a pedagogical standpoint. There are things that online teaching can do well that other kinds of teaching cannot do well. Like? One of them, for example, is that um, students have, especially if, if it's an asynchronous course, students have more time to reflect on what they think before they say it. They have more time to practice it, revise it, polish it, perhaps delete it and start completely over. Another thing that's nice about it is that the comments that are made in an online course, especially if, if, uh, if it's all typed up, tend to be there longer and they, they allow for reference later on. We can return to an early point in the argument very easily and so forth. Um, but of course the greatest thing to my mind that's good about the form of online teaching is the, the flexibility of um, place and time that within certain technological limitations you can participate in the class at any time mm -hmm. that works for you mm -hmm. and you can participate in it from anywhere that works for you. And that's, that's good for the student, it's good for the instructor. Um, so I think that there are, are, are lots of things that, that just pedagogically speaking are, are very good about online teaching. Okay, and this flexibility you mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, can you relate it to um, any online course you taught specifically? Mm -hmm. Can you perhaps tell us something about this course, like an example? Sure, sure. Well, I, I, I don't have a very specific example, but I'll give you a category of example. that. Um, when I taught an online course on children's literature for the first time, um, I had my students introduce themselves to each other. And I just sort of did it so they could practice using the forum. Not really because I thought anything interesting would come up. And about half of the students commented that they were stay-at-home mothers who they said over and over again, I would not be able to take this course. I would not be able to get a degree mm -hmm. if it were not for this online forum that uh, I just have duties that require me to be in specific places at specific times and they are not flexible. So the flexibility of this course allows me to have an education that I simply would not have at all otherwise. Mm. Okay, and uh, how about disadvantages? Because mm -hmm. any format would also have those upsides mm -hmm. and downsides. Mm -hmm. So are there any disadvantages? There are, of course there are disadvantages. And, and some of them, I, I think, are quite serious disadvantages. Um, one of the disadvantages is that human beings learn better when they are in contact with other human beings. That even when you and I, as scholars, sit down to write our scholarship, we have in our heads these voices of the people with whom we're arguing. And we have in our heads the voices of people with whom we agree and we want to distinguish ourselves from. In an online course where a student is new to the topic, especially, there's a sense of working in a vacuum. And that's a problem. Human beings don't learn as well when they feel that they are isolated from, from everyone else. This is a real problem with online teaching. There are ways of mitigating it, but this is a, this is a real problem, I think. But on the whole, mm -hmm. the balance of the positives and negatives? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the question. That's the question is, uh, overall, do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? Mm -hmm. For me, they do. For me, they certainly do. I, I can imagine a person for whom they would not. I can imagine a person who would say, um, Online teaching has too many restrictions. 
I don't want to teach unless I can teach perfectly. And I can teach perfectly face to face. This person would say, I don't think that's true. But this person would say that. And therefore, um, I'm only going to do that kind of teaching. On the whole, for me, because more people can be taught, mm -hmm. it's worthwhile. I, I, I think that just because we can teach people who otherwise would not be able to learn and who would not be able to get a degree and therefore would miss the who would miss the entrance into middle class lifestyle mm -hmm. that a college degree can, can help with, mm -hmm. I, I think it has to be okay. But no matter what problems there are, I think it has to be okay because it can help more people into a better life. That's very well said. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.